So I'm going to be showing you how to make this right here. Just really clean. I used it for a cover art for somebody's song. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. So it's super simple. Just add in a cube. We're going to press S and Y on our keyboard. And then just press 4. So just about there. Um, and no, we'll just do S, Y, and we'll do 3 for now. We're going to right click. We're going to subdivide it. Uh, so you're going to have to go to tab, press tab to go to edit mode, right click, subdivide. We're going to do just about there. Um, so once you have that, actually we'll do one less, there you go. We are going to click this, uh, there's a keybind for it, I think it's like, uh, can, uh, yeah, it's alt Z, um, to shift, or alt Z up to go to wireframe. We're going to press 3 on our keyboard. Now what we're going to do is just select the end here, and... Uh, we are going to make it smaller, but what we're going to do first, go up here, select the whole thing. So select that, do it here, and then just do it for each one so it's smoothly. Bam, just like that. Awesome. So once you have that, that's literally it for this part of it. Um, and then you're going to want to Alt-Z, go out of that, just select this little area, delete it. So now you have this like little tube thing here. Um, so you can go to your camera now, and then you just want to put this kind of up here in the middle. About one is good. Go to your add modifiers, put a wireframe on it. And you already have your little thing here. Super, super cool. Yeah. So I forgot something we want to do here is for this last one, because it will look weird if not. We want to select this and press Alt-Z, go back to there. Um, and press 2 to select the edges. And just we'll just select the edges and make them a little bit smaller like that. Um, so it's just about there. Perfect. So we can go back out of edit mode, so press tab, and then you can go to your wireframe, and we're just going to leave it at what we have here. Um, so let's go to rendered view, and once that decides to load, then we can change our colors. Alright, perfect. So we're going to press new, and the material, it's just, it's going to be super simple. It's all Z out of that, and you can press the use nodes, so we're not going to use nodes on the, any of the materials here and just make it black, so just like that. Set it black, and then you see it's black. Set the roughness all the way down, and the metallic all the way up. I know that's what we always do, but it'll look good, I promise. <laughs> and let's set this here in the middle to just about there. So you just make sure you have this copy, so control C, um, and just make sure you have that set. Um, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to our text and you can you don't have to add a text but that's what I'm going to do here and really just make it say whatever you want so I'm going to do seraphim s whoops s e r a p h i m art let's see if that wants to ever work awesome so we have our text here we press r and x 90 to kind of you'll have it there go back into here real quick and then we can actually scale this up because we're going to want it about here. Awesome. Boom. So just about there. And right now it looks weird, um, but it's fine. Put this under here and just to fill up space, we're going to do this. S and A is for Seraphim Arts. Oops. Oh God. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So we're going to put it just about here. Okay, then you're going to go here to fonts, and I actually downloaded one here, if we can ever find it. <laughs> here we go, we'll select that, bam, awesome. So it's just, I don't really know what it is, it's just some random font I found online. Um, but it's like Japanese kind of, and I'll leave a link in the description for this font, along with uh, some random objects you can use for the scene, um, and you'll see that later on. Alright, so we'll scale this up right up under the letters. And we'll do the same thing Same thing here. We'll go to the fonts. Go to the one we downloaded. Bam. Just like that. And we'll just stick it under there, just like that. It's perfect. Now we have that. Um, what we can do next is we'll just center that. Kind of mess around with some things that we want to look different. This there. Awesome. So... Now what we can do is make sure our camera is at the right angle. We have it at 190 and then Y15, uh, just if you didn't know where that was. And then we're going to pull these just in front of our model here, um, just barely like that. 
and then we can shrink them down. So we want them to be the correct size. Awesome. So now that we got that, you can, again, you can put whatever you want here for the text. Um, but yeah. So next thing we're going to do here is let's just save our project and we'll name this go. There you go. <laughs> um, and then let's make sure it's saved. Perfect. I'm going to go up here to file. Clean up. There you go. So we have no extra stuff and we'll go to rendered view. Perfect. So we're in rendered view now. Um, we're going to do a little bit different for this. Um, the look here. We're going to turn off bloom and we're going to turn the background to white. Awesome, just like that. And then turn the emission to, uh, uh, let's do uh, 75. So 75 on the emission. Um, so this does look, look a little bit weird, but um, I promise it will look fine in just a second. So let's select our letters here. Let's go press new on our materials. Um, we'll drag this down just a little bit. Um, and what we're gonna do is bring this down to black completely. And then go to use nodes after you do that. Black all the way, metallic, and then the roughness all the way down. Awesome. I do want to try turning the roughness up on this, see if it helps. It does not, it's totally fine. Um, what you want to do is probably turn this down to a really low number then. Uh, we'll just turn this down to zero for now and we can always change it later. Uh, so just like this, turn that all the way down. And then new on the materials for here, metallic all the way up, this down, and this down. And then just make sure it's black here, the color set to black. There you go. So you have that now. So the next thing we can do here is just really, you have your whole entire scene, that's pretty much it. Um, and you can add in literally whatever object you want you can go to your blanket here if you have that i'll leave a link in the description for that as well you can literally grab anything you want um and i'll show you how to texture that all right great so once we have our um our object here really again it's whatever object you want it can be anything um these are just the ones that i used um that i downloaded online just for the tutorial sake um but yeah really get whatever model you want you can put you can put a cube here <laughs> a uv sphere literally whatever you want um but i had a few different variations here uh, just with some hands as you saw on the renders in the beginning um and again literally you put whatever you want on here um and then so once you have your materials or whatever object you have um selected that you want uh just go to the materials and what you want to do is change the metallic all the way up um, the roughness and then just kind of copy these settings pretty much um, and then you go to rendered view and you'll see how it looks so mine looks like these because the emission is too bright in the background so if all of your objects look really like bright like this what you can do is just go to your background and turn the emission down just a little bit um, so I'm going to turn mine just about there so about five works for me and then you can go back to your background um, and turn these up just a little bit so you kind of have some light reflection so it just looks really nice um but yeah that's pretty much it there's nothing nothing much to it i mean again i'll leave these models in the description so you can kind of do what you want with this um and yeah feel free to be creative with it kind of do what you want this is good for like cover art or just really whatever it is you want to use it for it's good it's nice super clean um, and yeah, again, thank y'all for 100 subscribers on YouTube. Um, really, really appreciate it. Thank you all for all the support and all the comments y'all been leaving. I'll put some up here. Um, and yeah, I really do appreciate it again. And I will see y'all next time. Goodbye. Brown, brown,